The one that I wore the other day said thou shall not try me. And thou did try me. Thou certainly tried my patience. $153 later, we left with one Dr. Martin and... Hi guys, the last time you saw me, I was wearing a wig. Now, I took the wig off, braided my hair down, back. If you've been watching me for a while, you've seen me with my hair like this before. Oh, look at the tight up there. Anyways, a girl. I'm gonna put y'all here. I went to the nail salon and I got my nails done and I did them short and white. I wanted them to be a little bit shorter, but uh, I was not gonna complain. She did a good job and I love it. I stopped at Popeye's because I was starving and I have some packages here. One, I know is my life vitamins. I need to get some painkillers because honestly, so I always have to re-up on the vitamins, making sure I got the same thing, yes. Because I just have a few left in this, so I'll transfer them. And then I have I'm not gonna lie, this week, I bought so much. I bought this shirt that I wanna wear to work tomorrow. So cute. I hope it fits me in the size that I got. I'm not sending it back, so. I think I got a medium, yeah. I didn't want it to be too big. Small either, it looks a little young like that other one that I wore the other day. I was very annoyed with that one. But it looks fine. Oh no, it's fine. So I'm gonna wear this tomorrow to work. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. Not in the mood. <laughs> I swear to God, these graphic tees are always my mood. The one that I wore the other day said thou shall not try me. And thou did try me. Thou certainly tried my patience. I was damn annoyed. What is in this one here? I've just been clicking and going. Oh, this one here is two styluses that I bought for my daughter because she has a little iPad and she decided that she wants stylus. And she asked me for this. Not really sure what this is supposed to do, but she asked me for it. So I'm going to put these in the little box of things that I've been gathering for her and hopefully send them off Friday morning. But this is the last item that I needed to get for her box and I bought it yesterday. Hopefully the damn box is not too heavy. So I'm gonna just add these to the box and yeah, it's late. I wanna send it off to see how long it takes and how much money it costs me to see if I can do this more often. So we're gonna try that. I also think I'm gonna end up taking the items in a little bag to the post office as opposed to using the box because if I could fit them in just one of those little packing slips at the post office, that would be amazing because maybe it would be lighter than the damn box. Anyways, I'm here. That's all I did today. Went and got my nails done. Did not even vlog, but I love my nails. The next time I go, I'm definitely going to get a pedicure because my toes are going out right now. But sis charged me $40. I also feel like the next time I'm going to go, I might just stop out the block because it would be more convenient for me. I could come home from work and stop out there. Or I could just walk out there one day on my day off and I wouldn't have to take the bus. The only difference is because it's something that I do with my friend and it's like, you know, you get that little time with your friend and to bond or whatever. So, I don't know yet. But that's what I did today. I will not pay Uber $50. I refuse. So I will go stand and wait for the bus at 11 o'clock. I need to buy a car. My dad asked me to buy a car. And after this crap storm of a snowstorm look outside it's 11 o'clock some minutes after 11 p.m to be exact i ended up doing a double at work today because they had nobody to stay because the roads look like this so many inches of snow and so i decided to stay now let's see if this bus is gonna come because i'm gonna be very upset and i don't want to pay uber 50 dollars honestly hello you guys it's been a hot hot minutes since the very last time that i vlogged but i was really just in a funk i'm just coming home from work it's 6 10 but i made a little pit stop i made a little pit stop and i'm very happy so a few months ago i bought 
a pair of boot at a pair of boots at Marshalls and I really really loved it but here's the thing um the boots did not hold up one bad little snowstorm and it fell apart god one bad snowstorm and uh, yeah woodsy and vanillary so um yes one bad snowstorm and I wore it that one day in the morning and like in the night in the night it was a little bit worse and this shit just fell apart the next day when I tried wearing it and um I wore it to work but when I took it off this side was like coming up and I was very disappointed because I thought that the side was um stitched so Today my friend and I went to the mall and we went inside of Doc Martens and we were looking at these for a couple of weeks and I'm just like, yeah, the way how those fell apart, I just felt like if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. So I felt like it was very important that I invested in one, a good piece that actually made sense and that I know that I'm going to have for years to come and that will hold up in a snowstorm. I also bought this dubbin the girl said because the dot martin is real leather she said it's important that you put this on there she said once did she say once a month i'm gonna have to ask my friend what she said but once ever so often for the leather to hold up and not crease and not like go bad or whatever and this is what it looked like i tried it on in the store and i absolutely loved it when i tried it on i had tried a different one which was a collaboration with the dot martin and um somebody else but um that one was very cute but it felt very roomy and it's a nine because they don't make half sizes and then i tried this one on and she said that the leather was short i mean this is the original she said that the leather on this one was softer and i could feel the difference the moment that i put it on it felt so much more comfortable i really really love it okay and so i just went ahead and bought it because like i said i know that i'm gonna have this for so so long because these do hold up and it's real leather I'm gonna show you the difference with this one and the other one so this is the the old one that I had bought it's cute and everything and it has like the zipper on the side and whatever after wearing them for 16 hours my feet really hurt and the very first time I thought that they were broken in and um these are really a dot martin imitation honestly wow okay but literally the difference with the Dot Martin is it's actually sewn and the this here on the bottom is actually real and it feels better and um, like I said it's actually stitched and the leather feels so much better this feels like a double layer of like paper and this feels more sturdy and more structured and I really really like that so um, after wearing it like around this side here where, where the stitching was supposed to be started lifting up and I had to buy a crazy glue at work and like glue it down because I'm just like, okay, I'm going home back in the snow. So I need to at least glue it for a little bit. Luckily for me, they sold crazy glue and I could put it on there, but I feel like, you know, it's not going to hold up either. So I told my friend that as soon as I come home, I'm going to throw it away. This I just paid, I think $30 for it in Marshalls. And so it really was okay. And it did what I wanted it to do for the snowstorm, but obviously for... A more long-term solution then that's not gonna work and that's the thing too I feel like the older I get I'm more interested in buying pieces that are gonna last me a long time even if it is gonna cost me a little bit more at first we were in Clark's and I was looking at some Clark's something that looked similar to this and I tried it on but it was very hard and I tried an eight and a half wide width and I even tried a nine and the nine was so hard to put on like I was really struggling and this just slipped on so easily and the Clark's was a hundred and $30 and this was $150 for this specific one that I bought. My friend bought one as well and hers was $180. So it depends on the type that you really buy. But I really, really love this. Honestly, feel like my money was well spent. And so I'm very excited to wear this because we're supposed to get more snow again. And of course, this is a piece that you can dress up separate from that because the other day I wore it to work with um leggings and it looked so cute. Oh my gosh. This one when I wore it to work. I, the night before I had worn it I had I had I wore it for 16 hours right and so I know that I didn't want to keep it on all day so I brought a pair of slides to work and as soon as I got there I took it off but my feet were kind of hurting in it and I had this on for a little minute in the store and my feet were not hurting I guess with companies like this and stuff you really get what you pay for so these are a new addition the dot martins and I'm very very happy with my purchase 
I didn't go to buy that. And when my friend was telling me, let's go to the mall, I wasn't even gonna go. I'm just like, yo, I wanna go home and sleep. And she's just like, come on, we're not even gonna buy anything. A hundred and a hundred and fifty three dollars later, we left with one Dr. Martin and this thing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub it on it from now so I don't forget to put it on there. And um, yeah, I'm very happy, love it. And I'm very excited to actually wear it. Now I need to throw away this box that it came in. Anyways, I haven't picked up my camera in a while because like I said, I've really just been in a funk and trying to figure out a lot of things. And I don't know if I've actually figured them out, but this retail therapy here, my friend was saying it too. She's like, you know, people really do feel good when they when they buy things and I'm like yeah the retail therapy is very very real because this purchase just made me so happy one because I know that I'm gonna enjoy um the boots very very much and two just because just because you know I'm very grateful that I was able to even afford to buy them so that's where we're at I'm gonna rub some of the thing on them she said to use like a cloth or whatever so I'm gonna find something old to use and rub it on there and then um I'm gonna throw away the box chain shower lay down because I have work tomorrow.